Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over elements of sets. I love me some set theory, hope you do too. Let's get right into the lesson. Remember that a set is an unordered collection of distinct objects. For example, here is a set that we'll call S that contains 1, 2, and 3. So what are the elements of this set S? The elements of a set are the distinct objects that make up the set. So in this case, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 are the elements of the set S, because they are the distinct objects that S contains. So 1, 2, and 3 are the elements of S. And we have a nice handy notation that we can use to say that some object is an element of a set. This here means that 1 is an element of S. Similarly, we can write that 2 is an element of S and 3 is an element of S. This little symbol here that kind of looks like an E is a relation that means is an element of. It's also referred to as set membership. Because, for example, if 1 is an element of S, then we could say that 1 is a member of the set S. Can you think of an object that is not an element of S? An easy one that comes to mind is the number 4. 4 is not an element of S, and we can write that like this. This just uses the set membership symbol with a strike through it. So that's what elements of sets are. They are the distinct objects that a set contains. And the elements of a set can be anything, which sometimes makes it a little difficult to pick out exactly what the elements are. For example, this set A contains the number 3. It contains the type of tree called an oak tree. It contains the set that contains 1 and 2, and it contains the ordered pair that has 0, then 1. What's important to notice here is that 1 is not an element of A. Similarly, 2 is not an element of A, and 0 is not an element of A. The set containing 1 and 2 is an element of A. 1 and 2 are elements of this set, but they are not considered elements of A. It's only the set that contains them that is an element of A. Just like how the ordered pair containing 0 then 1 is an element of A, but neither 0 nor 1 are elements of A. So if you're trying to identify the elements of a set, sometimes you need to pay close attention to make sure that if the set contains an object that is itself a collection, you don't assume that the objects in that collection are elements of the set. Again, the set containing 1 and 2 is an element of A, but neither 1 nor 2 are elements of A. One last thing I'll say is notice how many elements are in this set A. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 elements in the set A. We call the number of elements in a set the cardinality of that set. So the cardinality of A is 4, because the set A contains 4 elements. And we write this to denote the cardinality of A. It's the set A with what you might recognize as absolute value bars on either side. So we can write that the cardinality of A is equal to 4. So I hope this video helped you understand what elements of sets are, as well as some related notation and vocabulary. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Break and take our turns Growing cold